Hello everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I come live about once a week to show you what I've been working on in my craft room. Um, and this week, it's uh, Easter is Sunday, so I want to show you a, a really fun and quick Easter card that I created. And if you're already done with your Easter cards or you don't send Easter cards, you can easily turn this um, card into a baby card, possibly um, a child's birthday card, a spring card. So it's really very versatile. So let me pop you down to my workspace and I'll show you um, the card. A couple samples will make one and then I'll show you an alternate and, and go from there. So I'll let me pop you down and we'll, we'll do some stamping this morning. Um, hey, Sandy, thanks for joining. Thanks everyone for coming on and uh, hanging out with me for a little bit um, this morning. If I don't catch you, um, I'll go back to the comments. Let me know you're here, uh, ask any questions, um, but I will follow up as well. You can look for me also online at kimplayswithpaper.com. So today I'm going to be using Stampin' Up's Easter Bunny stamp set and the coordinating um, Easter Bunny punch. Something to know about these two items. Hey Kay, thanks so much for popping on is that these are both going to be retiring from Stampin' Up's product line, so um, you won't see them in the next catalog. And in fact, beginning um, April 9th, the stamp set is will be priced at half price, so that will be $9.50 for the stamp set, and um, $17.60 for the punch. I think that's about, um, it might be, 10 to 20 percent off so those specials began um april 9th as well as a list of other things that are being discontinued so if you loved this um grab it now L last year i remember the easter bunny we punch we just couldn't keep that in stock so the card we're going to be making today is this cute little one right here i made these in my classes last week and everybody really loved it. Hey, Kathy, thanks for joining, appreciate it. So let's kind of talk about what ingredients I used. I started with a um, crumb cake card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and I score it at four and a quarter, and then I um, give it a little, um, with the bone folder, a good crease. Then I have a piece of um, balmy blue uh, cardstock. I need some words today. Balmy blue cardstock. And that is embossed with, there are three Boss, embossing folders online that are called the Basics 3D Embossing Folders. And this nice... Um, bumpy one is one of those. So that's, I've used that for something else. So that's that one. And there are a couple of other designs in that, on that as well. And those are online exclusives. Um, and it just appears that I don't have any of my adhesives. So I'm going to grab those real quick. And I'm not sure why I don't have adhesives. I'm using both sides of the table today. So um, got lots of projects going on. So that is measuring that balmy blue is five and a quarter by four. Um, then I have a white that measures three by four. That's what we will be stamping on. Um, Parakeet Party is the other card I, uh, the other color I used for the ink as well as um, the designer series paper. This is from the six by six uh, designer series um, paper packs. This measures three by one. And if you're wondering where I got this fun little grass piece from, remember this die from the beautiful balloons uh, dies and the beautiful balloons stamp set that makes some fringe. That's what made this little grass for me here. That is also retiring. So if you haven't seen a list of things that are retiring and will be on sale, give me a shout and I'll help you out with that. 
Parakeet Party is also one of those uh, colors we're going to be saying goodbye to. So um, that's that's sad. But um, we'll we're ushering in some brand new ink colors as well. Then I have a scrap of a crumb cake and then some white for the inside. So, um, so let's begin stamping. I am going to bring in uh, my Stampin' Pierce mat. Um, well, first of all, let's, we did a little, I did a little sponging. You might, hey, Brenda, thanks for joining. A um, little sponging up to make a sky, just to make it a little different. So I'm using the balmy blue with the small blending brushes. And if you haven't used these, uh, I give a little um, circle of ink on the pad and then I blot it off so I don't get a big blotch. And then come in from the side or the top and apply um, apply my ink that way you can have your sky be as light or as dark as you want but these blending brushes are really fun for adding adding color to your project in a in a light way good morning mary thanks for joining so we're just making a little easter card this morning and if you hang with me i'll show you a sample of a baby card that i created with the same layout um if you've already done your easter cards does um, I know Brenda sends Easter cards. Does anyone else make and send Easter cards? Um, when I first started stamping, I had to have all the things, so I had to have a reason to send cards for um, all occasions. So I sent cards for every every holiday. Um, so Easter is just, you know, sometimes even the 4th of July. And hey, Sue, thanks for joining. All right. So then I've, you can see, I've just um, blended some of just a little bit of ink on there. And then I think I'll go ahead and stamp my sentiment from the um, Easter Bunny stamp set. It also has some other fun sentiments. Enjoy all the little moments. It's a new day. A friend card. So lots of different ways you can use that stamp set. And just as a reminder, if you just popped in that Stamp set will be on sale beginning April 9th for um, $9.50. So I am um, stamping, I'm going to just tap, tap, tap um, that happy Easter in my parakeet party and putting it on my four by three piece of basic white. If you lose track of my um, dimensions, hey, Kathy from Ohio, thanks for joining. If you lose track of my directions, you can always check my blog. There will be a post with those directions. All right, now we need to make this cute little bunny. And what, I have a piece, just a scrap of, um, oh, a dozen Easter cards. That is awesome. It's um, just so fun for everybody to get to get mail, happy mail, anytime. Um, so I'm inking my rabbit with uh, some memento, black memento, and going to place it on the crumb cake cardstock, and then we'll use that punch. I am putting it on just on the left hand side so I can use that just kind of as a a lever to I'll show you. I love the stamp and the st stamp of no words today. Stampin' Up's punches are coordinated with the images. So I've made that a little bigger so I can just use that right side as a lever for my left handed punch. And I'm just going to line that rabbit up and um punch them out and that's what just makes you know super super quick and easy cards all right so we are ready to kind of start putting this together a little bit here um i do have that little piece of parakeet party from the six by six paper stacks and i am going to just put a few couple of little glue dots on the back of that and i'll show you why um we did make this card in class, so it may look familiar to the, anybody who might have, attend, might have attended this last week. It was super fun. We only made one Easter card, and everyone's like, what, only one Easter card? We need to make more Easter cards. So we adapted and tried to make an extra one. So I'm just putting that right 
so you can see my um, see my sky. And then I'm going to put a few glue dots on the back of my rabbit. And he's. I'm just gonna move the grass a little bit, and I'm gonna just gonna tuck him in. And you can you can he can be as high or as low in the grass as you want. But um, there he is. And then I have this. Hey, Colleen, thanks for joining. This one eighth inch metallic woven thread. So pretty. This is retiring too. It's about 16 inches of that. And I'd wrap it around um, the and tie a bow just to add some fun. And I just love the metallic in that. It's just fun and glittery, springy. Um, there we go. And then I can adjust the little things there as I wish. Um, Okay, so then we have our base. I remember the crumb cake with that balmy blue five and a quarter by four embossed with one of the basics 3D embossings folders. I did I think I mentioned that it's an online exclusive, so you'll find that online. Um, all right, and then we'll just get some. Stampin' Dimensionals to pop that up on front so you can see how quick and easy that card goes together. And I did make lots of them this week with class. And I always try to be pretty generous with those dimensionals. Uh, tear all those little pieces off. All right, and then that's just going to go in the center of my card, just like so. Um, and then I do have a basic white piece measuring five and a quarter by four for the inside. One thing I did add is I did have some extra of these, this dotted design from that design six by six designer series paper. So it's, sometimes it's fun if you have those extra pieces, those extra scraps um, to decorate the inside a little bit. We could, you know, um, add the bunny on the inside. There's a lot of different things you could do, but this gives you some space to write a note and it just gives it a little bit of extra oomph and it ties in from the um, design on the front to the design in the middle. So just very, very clean and simple, easy to put together, um, just there we go. Now I did promise that I would show you, um, you know, in case you don't send Easter or you've already done your Easter cards, this set, especially when it's going to be on sale beginning April 9th, this is just a super, um, a baby card. This I'm so happy you were born comes from the happy label stamp set that will also uh, be retiring as well. But I use the same design as the Easter card. Um, use the same embossing folder in the petal pink, and I just I did grab that um, that designer series paper from the flowering zinnias 12 by 12, and grab some petal pink ribbon as well as the um, the ink for that saying. So um, cardstock for the bunny is just crumb cake, and I stamped them rabbit in memento right onto that crumb cake and punched it out. Um, you, you could color the rabbit. You could do um, lots of different things with that. Oh, I wanted to quick show you. Um, hey, Candace, thanks for popping in. I did uh, every, every class I have a treat um, for the people who attend. And so I made this cute, cute little treat bag with orange taffy. So it does use, um, the Easter Bunny stamp set, there's your little bunny, there's that parakeet party ribbon, and happy Easter in um, pumpkin pie. And these just fun little bags I found somewhere in the middle of the year that I thought, oh, those look like carrots. I went on the hunt for the orange taffy and then laid these at everybody's place when we stamped today, or stamped this last week. So um, kind of fun with that. I'd forgotten I had the bags until I went digging. 
Um, and then just a couple of last quick um, Easter cards uh, that I've shared. So um, this is using the Trucking Along bundle, also an online exclusive, and the Lighter Than Air a designer series paper. I love um, being able to use like the truck for many, many other things. Uh, generally, it has a Christmas tree sticking out the back, but I grabbed the eggs from the Easter Bunny stamp set, colored them, and then uh, cut them and put them into the back of the truck with that um, Happy Easter uh, sentiment. And then um, one last one, as many of you know, if you've been following me, or even if you haven't, I will tell you, my favorite stamp set since the last annual catalog was the Circle Saying stamp set that had that celebrate. And it has been my personal goal to make a card for every holiday using that Circle Sayings. So, um, so I use that celebrate from Circle Sayings, and sadly, that is going to be retiring as well. So I'm very sad about that. It was, But it was a well-used, well-loved stamp set. And then again, I grabbed the eggs from the Easter Bunny stamp set, um, the Lighter Than Air Designer Series paper. I just love the spring colors and all of that. It's fresh freesia, um, balmy blue. We have some balmy blue ribbon, um, some... Azure Afternoon Dots. Also, um, we've got Fresh Freesia Petal Pink. Um, all kinds of springy colors in there. So um, that is what I've got for um, Easter and my Easter Bunny stamp set. Uh, I hope that um, you have a great rest of your week and weekend. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Also look for me online at kimplayswithpaper.com. And until next week, happy stamping. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.